Yo, what's going on guys? We're gonna be playing some fiddlesticks with the new items here in preseason 14. Riot got kind of crazy, particularly with the AP items on pricing. Rocket Belt only 2,500 instead of 3,200. And Morello for some reason is only 2,200 and gives more AP than Rocket Belt. It gives as much AP as Leandre's, which is 3K. And it gives 15 ability haste and Leandre gives none. And now of course Leandre has other stats that Morello doesn't, but for 2,200 gold, 15 ability haste, 90 AP. That's a steal. Even if it didn't have the heel cut passive, that would still be a decent choice for a first item power spike. Uh, no leash. I'm fine. All right. So we'll, we're going to go ahead and do a leash list. Just like it always does. we got electrocute, cheap shot, eyeball, relentless. You could go for ultimate. We're going to go ahead and auto into W and smite before it ends. We also have cosmic futures, double AP and armor. We're trying to power spike as quick as possible is the idea. After Armorello, we'll probably just go for Azanius, to be honest. And then we'll be good to go from there. I think I could have actually pulled it slightly sooner. I haven't played Fiddlesticks in a hot minute. I was playing him all the time recently, but like a couple months ago. I haven't played him in a hot while, so my clear might not be fully optimized. I think we can pull him out. Yeah, I think it's like around 350 is when you can pull and drain. And once you have two points in drain, you can pull them sooner. Your drain, when it ends, does a bunch of XQ damage. So the lower on health something is compared to its total health, the more damage your drain's actually going to do. That's where the most of the damage comes from is the end of it, not the, uh, not the really the start of it. I pulled him too soon. He was going into the yellow. We got our second point now. Fiddle does clear a little bit easier off a of blue side than a raptor start, though he can raptor start or blue buff start, either one. Totally fine. Just go, you just want to practice it a few times in a uh, training tool. You usually go E to pull camps a bit better than your Q. Your E is also a uh, lower cooldown as well. The two points in drain, doing the Krug pull is much easier we hit it with the ew we hit it with smite get that extra damage and now we can just drain cycle it without even needing to auto the krug that's why i like the blue side clear so much so even pretty unoptimized messing up like two or three drains we still finish 313 full hp leashless i'm happy with that now we can get it down closer to like 38 but i just didn't have it optimized enough for that the more optimization you have the higher risk you do have of resetting to be fair got it with the fear and the ew Man, Cho'Gath autos took 10 years to go off there. I think she knew she dies here. Okay, yeah. My E was terrible, but she was low enough that my drain kills. <laughs> my E. I completely misread where she was at. Wait, who died? It's my bot lane, so that means they're... Uh, they're jungler's bot side. Fiddle's solo fight isn't bad. As long as they can't cancel your drain, he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with most junglers. Especially if you have more than one. What the hell? But he was over here the whole time? So as you see, he obviously doesn't win that. I'm surprised he was even there. That was strange. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. He also took a turret shot for that too. That is very, very unfortunate. Potential to play bot side here. He ended up doing a full clear, still got to kill bot side, and my Yasuo is dead. He had a very greedy reset there. He's trying to back like two inches in front of her. I guess he got sent back eventually. <laughs> he played for the base speed up. I assume he did red wraps. Okay, so he might have even started a raptor solo because he, I think he did three camps. He thought I did my top side. He went over there. So he probably did wraps, red krugs, gank bot, and went back around somehow and did it really fast. That top gank must have cost me a lot of time. Uh, I kind of just need a reset. If I path through mid, they'll know where I've been, where I'm going. If I reset now, he'll probably just reset, spend his kill gold. He has got two kills. So I'll, I'll basically just end up being a raptor camp up. We'll wait for boots here. I don't want to go. If you're going to wait for 15 gold or less, there's no point of using the futures. Unless you have your R. Because basically the futures, it costs you 50 extra gold to go in debt, even for two gold once you leave fountain. If you're still in debt, it adds 50 onto that tally. So 
we'll just wait for the eight gold or so. Let's pull it out. And EQ. Your fear does d double damage if the target has recently been feared. And if you hit something when you're outside of vision, it'll fear it. But the, whether it's a W and E or an R. Nice. Could go top side again. Cho'Gath's pushing the wave though. We see their talent is bot side. That means we could probably go into his top side. Actually, my blue's coming up. I think it's worth I just go over to my bot side. Because I started bot side. He might. He's not going to have his top side buff up. I'm going to have mine up. So I don't think that would be a great trade. I know I can solo him too. I mean, it's talent. He went for first strike. He doesn't have conqueror. Ooh, they're kind of grouping up. They're either invading me or they're just taking dragon. So Yasuo needs to push or do something, man. He's kind of AFK mode. When your laner roams, this is the worst thing you can do. He doesn't even have the wave and a freeze. But he's playing it as if he did. Alright, we're six. Let's get this into bush so he can't see us. I'll hold on to my Q and my E just in case he shows up. So Zoe missed like two minions for going to dragon for 15 plus seconds. When your laner roams, just shove the wave. It forces them to miss a lot of minions and you get a gold XP lead on them. Zoe Bubble does not connect. No clue if this is warded or not. There's a good chance it is the way they're acting. Then again, Yasuo scaring the heck out of them right now. He's about to jump into me. Oh, wow. He saw me immediately. He must have warded that bush in midair as he jumped. Because he knew I was there. Like I said, instantly. Right, I'll be taking these. Don't mind if I do. I'm sure Talon is thrilled about this. And we should get everything here. Nice. We landed just about everything, but Zoe being Zoe is cancer. Down she goes. She hit me with, she picked up my smite, which doesn't, can I even smite change? Okay, she, so she picked up my smite, used it, and then she moves faster after she steals your stuff. She steals and runs quick. She almost got away for it. Town was only level five, his first strike, we ended up killing them both. Had red buff autos, got their whole bot side camps as well. That's going to put him super far behind, even if they did get dragon there. And guess what? We're already Morello. We're full item eight minutes in. Let's go, baby. We have way more gold than we even need for it. <laughs> A thousand more gold. Oh, boy. Rocket Belt's certainly still good on Fiddlesticks. It's cheap. It's still a dash, but it's not a speed up anymore. It, before, it was a dash and a speed up if moving towards enemy champions. So now that it has lower stats and doesn't have a speed up, I'm not taking it nearly as much as I used to. I find that it falls off pretty hard and not having the speed up hurts it quite a bit. Speed up helps you get in a position to drain way faster. We'll go ahead and reset. Ultimate Hunter certainly is better on Phil 6 in the late game, but first five levels, you can't beat Relentless Hunter value. We'll go ahead and max Q first. Pick up our Morello, pick up our Sork Shoes, and now I think we go straight for Zanyas. It's the best move. Haven't needed Futures Market. Futures Market's more like an insurance policy of, oh, you're behind, you based, you're missing 150 gold. That sucks for you. We, we haven't had that situation since we've been getting lots of kills this game. Doesn't mean it's a bad rune, it just means every game you're not necessarily, not, you may not need it. It's nice to have though. Who knows, maybe we'll still have a time to use it this game. So Yasuo goes in, dies immediately. I got her with the red buff auto. She should die from that, right? Yeah, I was going to say my red buff auto. Got her with the silence W. Oh, I need a Jin snare right about now. Red buff auto's on him. Into an E. Down he goes. Let's drain the wave. 
Fiddle's an absolutely amazing jungler. His biggest weakness is just being predictable in terms of clear. Fiddle's always full clear. Three can't clear Fiddle puts him, his level six really far behind. So, so his predictability, and if he's playing against a highly coordinated team, they'll ward off a lot of your ultimate angles. But in a solo queue environment, even if you're playing him in challenger, in challenger games, at least on NA, there's typically one to five auto fills in any given game. And that, you know, a lot of addicts they're scratching their necks they're they're twitching around they don't know where they are they don't know what's happening and then bam you come out of nowhere fiddle six are on their head not every game but a lot of games the fight doesn't look like it's going too swell i don't think this is warded i'll get in bush Jin's about to get himself killed and give away my position yeah he saw me I have to reset. I don't have R. Get him with the fear, EW. I can get off a big W here. Thresh has no CC. No clue where he went though. Why did Jin shoot his all of his shots there? I'm out of mana. Like, you can see him right here. <laughs> what? <laughs> that last one, bro. I'm out of mana. Oh, you gotta love Morello, dude. It hasn't done much so far. It will, though. Samir's gonna stack healing. Karma has some self-healing as well. Get the EQW. Let's smite it for our W finishes. Nice. Very nice, nice, nice. Pick it down with E. Get W. My R is up, so we really should go gank right now. Full clearing when R is up is a naughty thing to do. If I find out you're doing that, I'm going to find you and spank you. <laughs> <laughs> the proper punishment must be delivered. R in, get her with Q, get her with E, walk her down. Talon might be able to burst me here. I'm missing quite a bit of health. Oh, he jumps over. Makes sense. I need to heal. Uh, should we back? Or should we just try to set up a drag fight? I should go bot lane. This Thresh is a mirror. They're not giving us any respect. They keep pushing up as if nothing bad's going to happen. Normally, good Thresh players will position in tandem with their ad carry to where they can instantly go behind them and lantern this guy's constantly stepping up way past to where if something bad happens he can't really bail them out it's awarded big surprise he's always on our way too there's no reason for me to stay look how fat this wall is she's gonna hit me that's cringe Turbo cringe. It's I mean it's so big she can't really get to me with a real ability, but still. It's ridiculous. Jin ran the <laughs> like why didn't he run towards us? He said, you know what? This wall <laughs> is a good wall. It's a big strong wall. Oh yeah, it's so strong. He runs away from his teammates and away from his turret. Okay, we got Zanias, we're chilling. That yeah, bush must be worried. The fact she pegged me down in there. Soraka trading autos with Samira outside of turret range. It's a beautiful thing to see. Love to see it. Never seen something that great before. I think Thresh warded over here randomly. I don't know where he put it. Dude, they're just... They're farming us. We don't have any vision. <laughs> Maybe the ward just broke. There's a thing here. I don't know. They're not, they're not doing dragon. Yeah, suck it. I'm out of here, buddy. <sighs> Man, they got so many wards. An infinite stream of vision. If dragon cancels your drain, you're screwed. If anything cancels your drain in general, it goes on full long cooldown. You'll be, you'll be sitting there with nothing to do. 
It's important they don't get soul. That is definitely their win con. Their win con is Thresh Lantern, Karma Shield on top of Samira, and then also we can't kill Samira. Luckily, I think Samira can only win wall my Drain, which is kind of cool. Because Fiddle Drain is... Or, or, sorry. Samira can block my Fiddle Q, which for some reason counts as a projectile. It also has a travel time. So if she accidentally win walls that, it's going to freaking suck. Like that damage, buddy? Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. That was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> AD carries can rush Infinity Edge these days. It doesn't have a passive that relies on needing other items anymore. <laughs> it's just a strong item. You can build it first, you can build it last, you can build it second. You don't really have to think about it too much. That's the important thing. We need to remove as much thinking as possible from the AD carry role. You know, thinking's not uh, what AD carries are known for. <laughs> Oh, you gotta help me find the minions. <laughs> uh. So we're up one dragon. It's still a very strangely close game. I guess it's because Yasuo has a lot of death, so it looks close in terms of kills. What's going on? Could flash the wall. I don't know if we should. Oh, yeah. Well, we got her flash at least, so it's a flash for flash. My flash is more viable than hers. She gets up to this wall, she gets to steal that stuff. They should make a trailer park Zoe skin, or like a ghetto Zoe skin, because she's always stealing. <laughs> That'd be a hilarious Zoe skin in Zoe voice pack, like voice line pack. Straight up thief. Alrighty. Auto in the queue. In the EW. Goodbye, Karma. It's good to stagger out your CC a little bit there. I could fear directly into Drain, but then we have less CC. Might as well stagger it so Cho'Gath can get off more hits. So we queue. Auto once or twice. Right as our fear is about to end. And the E slaps down. I do not have R. What are you gonna do, boy? What are you gonna do, boy? <clears throat> I have Zhonya, so good luck to him. I'm also draining the minions for health, so... Like I said, good luck to him. <laughs> if he doesn't have heal cut... If, if you don't have heal cut and if you don't have a way to cancel Fiddle Drain... And Fiddle's draining multiple targets, don't do it. It's not a good idea. Take it from me. The guy who used to play fiddlesticks all the time before they ruined his E. <laughs> Back when it used to be a bouncing crow, which was 10 times more aesthetically pleasant and satisfying to use. Hey, uh, buddy. I want all that gold. Wait, I, that was a shutdown for Zoe? She's been dying nonstop. 91 CS. My god, if they kill me, they get a thousand gold. I gotta stay alive. <laughs> this game is so wild. They have horrible champions to fight me other than the Thresh. Like, Samira doesn't even have CC to stop me. Karma, none of them. I mean, even the Zoe sleep bubble's delayed and I can still get off a drain cycle and then Zani is right as the sleep's going off. If I really want to. By the way, Samira R, anything that's damage over time, MFR, Samira R, Teemo, Poison, Brand Burn, will not wake you up from Zoe sleep. That's right. If Zoe's sleeping you, you can eat a full MFR to the face hole and you, it won't wake you up. Let that sink in for a minute. What I'm trying to say is you should duo Zoe MF bot lane because that's going to get you out of silver 100%. It'll save your soul from bronze damnation. Got her with the silence, we got her with the Q, got her with the W, and we suck her dry. I have so much gold, it's ridiculous. I could just straight up back and buy it. A Robidon. Draining the minions and them here. This is an example of an amazing place to fight for Fiddle. An outrageous amount of uh, healing, basically. 
<laughs> I'm kneeling off two champions in a raptor camp. Thresh needs to save off Flay. If he hooks me, that's fine, but then he has to save Flay to cancel Drain, so it goes on a six second cooldown instead of a two second. Like, look, if I full Drain, it is a, yeah, roughly two, two and a half second cooldown. I need to tank this. That my smite was actually so dog. <laughs> I smited on Jill early. Maybe it was 70. Talon hopped in. He messed up. He had a short period of time to smite it. He's two full items. Guess what, buddy? I have three full items. Actually, do we want Robidon or Storm Surge? I can pick up a Dark Seal right about now. Storm Surge is insane. Movement speed, penetration, AP. It can be challenging for laners to rush this first item because it doesn't support your mana needs. But as a jungler, your jungle item's constantly pumping and dumping you full of mana. There's nowhere for me to set up an R angle on this. Yeah, it felt real tough. Real tough. We got some tough guys over here. They want to fight back. It was clearly on vision. Man, the way they moved around mid walls and top walls, top and mid are so much harder to gank. And it's even harder to fiddle R over this crap. Like this is still, like, Raptor Camp side is easy still, but this side got a lot harder to R off of. Thought side, I guess, is easier to R off of, but mid is challenging. I guess you could go over this top wall as well with fiddle R. This barren wall is so janky, dude. What the heck? This is mine. Now, since I have jungle item finished, if me or my teammates take a buff, it gives it to everybody on our team. So now everyone gets blue buff. Look, even Soraka. When you pick these up, when it's flame soul map, it gives you a little bit of short term movement speed and ability haste. The ability haste is permanent until you die, and then you lose it. Each one gives, like, 0.2. Uh, I'm not going to lose half my health there. That's cute, though, Zoe. Because <laughs> I didn't know who was with her. I didn't want to lose half my health and then have someone else come and smack me around. Morello's so broken. I ha apparently haven't heal cut anything because I haven't built any self-healing yet, but it's still so strong to have. How fast? She's 390? I'm 399. She's full crit. Oh no, Jin, what have you done? I have blue jungle items. Good job, Soraka. You're giving away exactly where I am, you dinkleberry. Hey, Samira. I got blue jungle item, buddy. Got her with the silence slow. Walk her down with R on. Storm Surge blows up on her head. Red jungle item's decent on Fiddle. Blue's still a little bit better. Oh, I'm glad he ate that hook and not me. Oh, I'm dead. That sucks. Just too many bodies. I took a lot of damage from, I guess, Karma. My god, she's nearly 1600. It's almost my whole health bar. She hit me with a full size Q. They got a thousand gold off that. They can certainly win this game. Cho'Gath went for a Koenig, which is the best magic resist item in the entirety of the game. <coughs> it's a front, instead of a back end magic shield like Ma, it's a front end magic shield that's on a 12 second cooldown. So he's not even taking damage, he's getting blasted, taking zero, da zero damage on his health still, zero. And it gives other stats too, 80 magic resist. Uh, phew, boy. Ooh, stinky. We could go Banshees or Shadow Flame. Shadow Flame gives crit penetration. Banshees, I think, will be better because of random Zoe bubbles. So we'll do Banshees for now. Probably sell Dark Seal for Void Staff. I think that's best. 512 AP. Robdon is good on Fiddle. It's just an expensive item. Storm Surge is 700 gold cheaper. A lot of Fiddle's builds don't even include Robinon, although it is 
It's like not bad to have. Got my R ready. It's rank three. We're, we're ready to go here. See, I lost all my little flame things. They get to pick those up. Hey, everybody. Got a smite. Yeah, and everyone dies. <laughs> it's 3k damage. Not including uh, the electrocute, the cheap shot, storm surge. Love to kill this karma. She's so cocky. The way she steps up. Like she, why is she stepping up like that? She really thinks that's going to pay off. Oh no. I'm not sure if that shot would have killed me. I don't know if it was going to do 446 or extra. I'm not sure how heated up the turret was at the time. If it was fully heated up, I would have lived. If it wasn't, I was definitely going to die from that. Go ahead and grab us a dragon. Dragons don't scrape Banshees anymore. They don't scrape Edge of Knights. Uh, you also can't block them with spell shields like Sivir and Nocturne spell shield, which sucks for Nocturne because it'd help them take it quicker. It's strange because dragon autos still aren't auto attacks because you can't block them with Jax, E, or Shen Circle. He's baiting here. Oh, he flashed out. He's definitely baiting. That's why I didn't want to get closer to it. I should have thrown out a silence though if I could reach. Alright, pick these up. Do I get the speed up or not? <clears throat> Holy crap. The speed up, it doesn't give it to you when you pick them up after someone dies. I guess that would be too strong. This Talon murders my team. She has a free smite. I don't really want to fight her. I'll go for Samira. Samira is full AD. No health, no magic resist. <coughs> Should be easy pickings. Besides Cho'Gath scaring her away. Just got to get on top of her, man. Got her with the fear W. She got sucked dry. Silent slow. Smite slow. Nice. Oh, that sucks. And he gets to pick up that random... That That's one tricky thing with adding neutral speed ups or blast cones is it's not a matter of skill 99.9% .9 of the time. It's a matter of simply who gets there first. Why would he try to steal that? So yeah, it's just about who gets there first and then you just straight up get away. Because moving 616 after picking that up versus 457 is kind of nuts. We get him with the fear, walk down into EW. Why is no one else hitting this guy? Like, he's literally just got away because no one wanted to hit him. How stupid is that? Like, he literally just, like, walked away, like, slowly <laughs> as I auto. Oh, my gosh. Got off a big drain cycle. I'm the one tanking the turret. I gotta heal off something, get some mana back. See, four, uh, see 20 mana per second instead of four. That's the power of Jung Hole item. Gives you more the more you're missing. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. Got a fear, EW. I'm draining both, so getting a lot of healing. Smite and a W. Oh, Tornado Lance. That's pretty good. That's solid, man. Really good fight for us. Currently 18, 1, and 11. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm surprised they haven't quit. I guess they really think they have a chance. <coughs> but why, Talon? Why do you do this to yourself? Ours doing 3.1 right now. Shadow Flame's doing about 350. Electrocute's doing. Hold on. Oh, I canceled my drain. No, dude. I canceled it to lay out. 
<clears throat> to lay a ward of all things. Get out of here, you stink, stinky stink turd. I don't know if Thresh flashed for that. He might have. So if I don't cancel my drain, it's about still two and a half. And if it does get canceled, it's more than double that. It's about six and a half. Nearly triple. I don't have my R for this. I have to hold on to my uh, fear. Samira. <laughs> she goes in. She's like, well, this time it'll be different. No, 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 no. Get him, Jin. Oh my gosh. Cut off his escape, dude. <clears throat> I have uh, wolves to drain here. I'm never going to die. Nice. He got snared by something. I guess Jin snared. Seems like no matter how many of these people we kill, there's always more. He's always even splitting right now. We shouldn't be pushing down a lane that we already have cannon on. Samir's also about to respawn, so this is kind of fruitless. At this point, I would say we sell Morello for Rabadon. I know this whole video was hyped around Morello, but they never really ended up building healing. <clears throat> like, Samir normally goes double life still. It's kind of her thing. Moving fast off Mesh, we are kind of tanky with Banshees and Zhonyas. <coughs> I don't need Void Staff, they're not stacking that much magic resist. We're good to go, in other words. Karma steps up, Cho'Gath eats her. His R is probably getting close to 1500 true damage at this point. It's hitting like a Garen R. But Garen R, they have to be low for it to do max damage. Cho'Gath R is a flat amount every time. Which I suppose isn't that valuable because realistically he's saving it until it will kill. That way it stacks. So in reality, it doesn't make that much of a difference even if it... Even though it is fly, he's just going to save it till the end. I'm faster than you. I'm stronger than you! Wow, that's some damage. That's some damage, boy. He flayed me out of my drain. That was a good flay, and that's it. We got a tank, man. Pe for the most part, tanks are horrible. The only tanks I've seen do well are infinite scaling HP tanks like Cho'Gath and Scion. I've seen those do exceptionally well. They need to have damage behind them for sure. That's to be expected, though. They also lack max health damage. It's not like they have a brand or a Zyra to shred this guy up. Flash her down. Down she goes. Is always the only one up. Got her with the silence. Woo! That E hit heavy, man. 731. What? Smacked her right out of her chair. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, Cho'Gath was number two in the game. Pretty solid for a tank with the new item changes. Like I said, the HP tanks are the best because of how Kanic works. It's based off your maximum HP. So big HP tanks have a massive unfair advantage with the... Uh, a lot of the new items it's like i think sunfire does more damage the more hp you have titanic i think does and kanik and some others so yeah we did have the most Cho'Gath within the same ballpark range number two everyone else was roughly tied other than soraka i mean even thresh had high damage yeah thresh base damage is way too high he almost had as much as samir for damage taken we were the most in the game impressive I could leave it at that, but it'd be misleading. If we look at self-mitigated, I know Cho'Gath's going to be the highest by far. He'll probably have around 80k self-mitigated when I took more damage than him. Uh, self-mitigated? Wow. You know, I'm shocked. Were they just not hitting Cho'Gath? Because even if you count self-mitigated, he wasn't high. Like, I was almost as high as him. I had Banshee's Zons. Uh, 8k. So, dude, even if you count that... If you even count self-mitigated at 8k to his score, I literally took the most damage in the whole game. What the heck? How is that possible? Yeah, I literally took the most... Okay, so Thresh 38. So if you add 6 to his, 
Dude, even if you count Thresh, I literally took the most damage in the whole game. Without self-mitigation and with self-mitigation, I did. So any way you cut it, I took the most damage. Fiddlesticks. Not tank fiddlesticks, fiddlesticks. I guess it just goes to show you, you have to stop his drain, otherwise he just won't die. Wow, alright. Varun's high value. All in all, fiddle diddle. Arguably the most consistent jungler in the whole game. At least played defensively early on. He is the most consistent. Of course, if your team's full AP, don't play him. Pick something AD instead. All in all, the champion's cracked. He's, he's amazing currently in Season 13. And from what I can tell right now, he's going to be amazing in Season 14. If you guys enjoyed this fiddle video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.